YouTube, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage here. Back with the Carthage campaign, of course. I've probably said that 50 times now. Um, except I probably didn't say it the first time. In any case, uh, we need to pick things up where we left off. Um, which was in fairly good shape, other than agents giving me grief out here on roads. I've got to kind of retame the settlement here, as it were. Looks like we're rebuilding some things. Nicomedia is good. Um, we just smashed the Tribali, I believe, as well. We can upgrade these farms here. Alright. So those armies will be freed up soon, the ones that have captured Tribali territory. And I have both my armies in... Iberia that are pretty much ready to go. There's a few buildings being finished up. And let's see. This army can't march anymore on this turn. Yeah, we just have a few more things to take care of. Um, let's see. Got my armies back in the homelands, or at least nearby the homelands. And I have a navy, a fairly substantial navy here just because of all of the artillery ships. Let's see. Recruit some assault ships into that navy, just to give it a little bit of depth. Um, some of you all want me to recruit Sacred Band. I do believe I can do that at this point. So we could come into this army here and uh, take these late Carthaginians. And, to be quite honest, these... Well, you know, those pikemen are upgraded. Those They're actually going to be decent. Um, we can uh, disband these units here. And we could uh, train in some Sacred Band. So some of you all have been wanting to see them used. I believe I can train them now. Well, yeah, right here. Sacred Band. Our Lord needs good fighters. So that's all the uh, units that I can put into that particular army. And it looks like I have a ton of money. We must have just completed a mission. Um, I'm curious as to objectives. I like to look every now and then and just see how close we are. Um, the current chapter, we need to control 70 settlements. Um, active missions, ultimate objectives, control 60 port settlements, which we have not yet. We need to capture Syria, which is looking like either Antioch or Tarsus there. Tarkanesis, which we will be headed for soon. We just have to hold that whole province. we got to hold all of the Bosphorus. And all of Egyptus. And I thought we did hold all these since the Nasimonis were my client. No, because there's uh, more factions down there. So we almost own that one. Just a couple more provinces than we would. So it looks like we're honestly probably not too terribly far from ultimate victory. Um, and that is a military victory. We could look at other victories. We're not quite there yet on these either. And we're getting closer on that one it looks like. But uh, I'd like military victory, to be honest. Total 36. So we have we need to capture more port settlements. Uh, and just more settlements in general. So, I'm trying to think. We're probably kind of getting to be out of moves for this turn. I'm thinking Punic culture ought to be skyrocketing. In this area now. Um, I'll leave that judge there just a little longer, but I might move him on to help out elsewhere as needed. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this turn because I kind of think we need to get it over with. There is a Seleucid fleet raiding off the uh, coast of Crete. We're gonna need to take care of them because that raiding's gonna drive down my public order. Not to mention a little bit of my income. Okay, that fleet moved my to the north side of Crete. Master. We'll burn your cities, um, your towns, your villages. Some your reason why these guys think they should declare war on me. Bring it, chumps. It's funny when I play as Bactria, a lot of factions just declare peace with me, and then when you play as Carthage, everybody declares war on you. Why the spirits of our ancestors have no use for gold? 
they do know that they living children so these guys reliability is devious which means they're probably not worth that 3300 so I'm out if they had a more steadfast um, uh, steadfast demeanor I might consider dealing with them on that level but otherwise not interested the Nasamones, who were once an annoying enemy, have turned into quite the helpful little ally because they're just, I mean, they, you know how the auto-resolve is with their armies, clearly, if you watched any of my episodes in the past. A token, perhaps a modest gift of coin, would have my people see you in a new light. So these guys are reliable. They're allied with some faction. They're at war with people that I dislike. So this kind of makes sense, to be honest, um, to start making a friend over there. I don't like paying them the money, but if it's what it takes to help me get some friendly help there. So Alexandria was sabotaged. Roads. We need to... Who the heck is sabotaging? There must be a, an agent there that I can't see. Do I not have any agents in this army? I thought I did. I have this uh, judge back here who's helping to spread Punic culture, and I'm going to have to like just keep building temples in order to spread enough Punic culture to overcome what the Nazimones and their agents are doing. Uh, it's kind of frustrating. I'm not sure the judge is the best unit to get rid of whatever sabotaging me here. And the sabotage is annoying because it's keeping me from finishing the destruction of these buildings. Because every time they sabotage me, it slows that down. Who's that? Dragonian? Um, we need to kill this Seleucid fleet here before it does any more raiding. And it is, of course, just outside the range of my own fleet. I might make a move to here just to see if we can intercept it. It's outside the range of both my fleets. My lord! We're going to have to put down this um, Rhodian Rebellion here. And I have elephants, so i got a feeling they're going to screw over my elephant unit. Since they have nothing but spears in that army. But we'll see. Yeah, they did, but it was not too terribly bad. Alright, let's see. So how many units in it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I can put three more units in this army. I've only got two cav. Um, I can't really recruit much into it right now. So I'll wait until we get to a spot where I can better recruit. Uh, it looks like we finally turned around the public order in this particular area. Just build up a couple of buildings there. really wish we could kill those guys. Alas, I'm going to have to settle. And of course, Alexandria is going to remain upset. There is a swarm of Seleucid agents coming in over here. I wonder if I can recruit any agents. Looks like I can recruit a spy. So I might as well see if we can get them to level up a little. Persuade. Manipulation. Cultural influence. Wealth. Public order. Coerce and assassination. I like this. So we'll recruit this spy in, and I wonder if this judge has got he's got a little bit of character to him here. But I need him over there at the moment. Let's go over to uh, Hispania here and see if we can do anything. I mean, we're really going to have to take the fight to the Gauls. The Sesatani are annoyingly still alive. They have this teeny little fleet here. I'm going to see if I can track it down with my navy. Looks like I might be able to get it in this turn. Of course, it's going to run off outside of my movement range. But I could take this army. Put to sea. And finish them. And that should put an end to the Sesatani, unless they ran off somewhere else as well. Which they apparently did. Oh, maybe they ran off over by North Africa. It seems like they came to attack Yol. They did. And they're just outside of the range where I can use the garrison fleet here to take them out and their raiding. So that was a mistake on this navy's moves. 
I'm going to pull them back down this way and we'll have to come attack that small Sessitani force. But the Sessitani are no more. So let's see. I have this army, which is no longer needed down here, that can go ahead and get ready to march on Gaul. So I'll take this army and march to Numenatia and Araxillum, or however you say that. And then this other army can march along the, the way here, Massalia. I'm somewhat friendly with the Marcomani. I do have, if I remember right, an agreement of some sort with them. Even though I'd like to conquer their territory, they feel kindly towards me, so it's um, really not a fight that I'd wish to get started. So we'll uh, either get military access from them or march around their territory um, at Massalia to go ahead and get to where we need. The Ligurians have become a pitiful excuse of uh, a client state here. Not worth much. I might eventually have to fight a war up in that region, so I figure I'll go ahead and... Let's see, public order and growth. Nothing wrong with that. And... I'm going to build these buildings that continue to push public order. And I'll build that extra building there for some wealth. I do believe this province will be able to hold its own. It's having to convert from... Celtic culture to my own. I don't think any of these other cultures up here, or these other uh, folks are going to start a fight with me immediately at least. Now why is the public order in this place so screwed up? don't really have anything that should be causing squalor. Oh well, it should settle out. What is this? A uh, big old group of Persian transports. What can I recruit here now? Oh, I can get more ballista ships. Which I will gladly take. Alright, I'm going to recruit some more ballista ships and if I get a chance I'm going to go at that big Persian transport fleet. And I want to get an attack order on those guys, see if we can pin them down. I think I'm just going to have to end another turn. Um, just to try and get to a point where I can be more effective here. Okay, give her more cultural conversion. Ambassadors of Atlas. I'm gonna upgrade inexorable conquerors. It's making the weapons damage and everything more potent in these armies. Slowly, of course, but it's doing it. This C will give even more melee attack skill. So, just keep going down that line because my Carthaginian units aren't all that potent in and of themselves. And I believe we can end the turn now. We're going to finish some research on this turn, it looks like, too, which is going to be cool. We can look at something else to research. German Confederation, huh? You know, the one thing I've noticed about this um, campaign, of course, this one was started a long time ago before a lot of the patches, but did you ever notice how in Shogun 2, whenever you'd play a campaign, it seemed like there was always one or two factions that would get to be just about as large or larger than yourself, and it really created an interesting uh, showdown in the late game? I'm not sure if that happens here. I mean, the Seleucids were pretty big, I have to admit. Uh, they just didn't put up much of a fight. Uh, I'm curious if any of you all have had a situation where you ran into, like, a, a big faction in late game. Uh, similar to what, you know, the stage of the game that I'm in here. Of course, depending how you play the beginning of your game may influence that, but it doesn't always seem like... Will you not give our people a little gold? You oh, have much, guys really want a and lot of gold. people do not wish to become the slaves of envy. Uh, you know, I don't really want to pay these guys, but since I have a lot of excess money right now, I'm just curious. I mean, they're reliable um, and aggressive, so they might make a good ally um so let, let's uh let's accept and then let's see if i can turn it into a military alliance and that might give him some gold to work with anyway okay an enemy was wounded in roads trying to sell or pass off cultural propaganda someone bought off the merchants there okay we finished tactical drills someone rallied the slaves in alexandria which means alexandria is still going to be ticked Subversion in Alexandria. Admiral dies of natural causes. Crap. General dies of natural causes. Crap. 
Good grief. Okay. Was that enough bad messages for everybody? Um, let's see what we got. Let's take this guy that has plus authority and zeal. Guess I'll just take this guy. Neither one of them is very good. Uh, and then we need an admiral, which means that you're pretty much all that's left. Okay. Um, see a couple of boats that need to be upgraded while I've got this little navy screen up. Uh, let's go into the politics screen. I need to. General in Carthago. I need to adopt some of these guys or bribe them. One of the two. That guy's an easy buy. I don't know that I need to do this. I want to do it. I'd like to have these guys in my in my faction. And I have plenty of money. I might do one more on this turn, then I'll just wait a bit. An Admiral, General, and Thapsis. Might take this guy. Okay. <clears throat> That's all I'll do for now. Um, we can research more technology. Let's see what all we've done so far. I do have a huge research rate right now, which is nice. Minus four upkeep cost for all fleets. The Hippeus stables, huh? I wonder what that building does for me. Let's check out the encyclopedia real quick and take a look. So, let's take a look at the Hippeus stable for Carthage. Well, it leaves a garrison of Carthaginian Cav. Don't know how useful that's going to be. I wish it would show me what it did for me. Um, building chain, Athens, Carthage, description. Doesn't show me. I mean, I can already recruit all the units, so I just I don't know what good it would do me to build that particular building. Um, Plus five battle speed for all ships. Ram damage. That's a pretty good one. It only takes two turns to research, so I think I'll go down that route. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Let's see. We should be able to do some more movement now. Let's see what we've got going on. So remember, Armenia declared war on us, so we got to worry about Armenia. This army's probably... I say it's no longer needed up here, but the public order in this province is still poor. Uh, I live! Why it is so poor, I'm not exactly certain. And it's near revolt, so I can't lead with that army yet. This province may be a little better off. It is. And uh, once this amphitheatron and this uh, gardens finish, that area is going to be fine. So I'm, I'm actually going to take this army, uh, put them into double time, or force march, whatever it's called, and I'm going to start marching them towards Asia Minor so that they can help me uh, put down... Uh, the folks in this area, namely the Seleucids and the Armenians. Okay, there's the Seleucid agent that seems to be giving me grief. Let's see if we can get rid of her. Really? Yeah, that's just my luck. Let's see if we can see if we can get this agent. Thank you. At least maybe they can lay off a Rhodes now. And there are three Seleucid agents standing here, all three of which are heroes. And then the Nasimonis agents I wish would help me out here rather than just converting my populace. Let's see, all of these guys are fairly decent. Let's see, 10% chance, 7% chance. Let's just try our luck here. Of course, my spy is wounded. I don't guess I should have expected much different. Um, you know what? Let's. This area looks like it's holding its own. We've got an amphitheater on there too. Let's just take this more leveled up judge, bring him down here to assist in getting rid of these Seleucid agents. Uh, the fact that I can't really. 
it's not real easy to just finish off the Seleucids, and at the same time, uh, I wonder where that Persian transport fleet went. These Seleucid fleets just sailing around down here on Rohard. I might just go over here and put into port. Still never figured out why this area is so upset. I'm just not going to need these recruitment structures back here anymore, I don't suppose. So I'm going to tear that down and build something different. Let's get back over to this area. I'm going to use this spy to go forward and just do a little scouting. So really no, no real resistance from the Gauls in this region. I'm just going to trespass on the Arverni. I'm not going to declare war yet. Because I don't really think the Arverni can stop me from trespassing. I would have to... Actually, you know what? I think that's the borderland for Massalia. Yep, this is owned by the Arverni, so I could just head this way. And if I end up trespassing there as well, I don't really care. So we are about to be in a fight with the Arverni, but it looks like they're not managing themselves very well. Their armies are starving to death, it, it appears. So I'm not necessarily expecting a, a whole lot of fight out of them. We'll see. Let's see what we got. Gotta build a library there. Looks like all my provinces are stable here. Um, I might upgrade this even further and just take the little bit of loss of food in order to secure the extra public order in Pella because it seems like that area has been borderline for some reason. And I should be able to supply uh, plenty of food. So I believe I subjugated the Gate, if I am correct. Yes, they are the client state that loves to hate I'm me. I'm sure you have many pleasantries for me, but Would please you care for don't a... bother. Talk I... of meat, not honey. I can't trade with them for some reason. Um, they just don't like me. That's funny. Yeah, it's not too terribly bad. Some of that stuff might uh, wear off over time, and they they could come around. Not sure where they're headed at the moment, but. Let's see, so this army in Medlon really isn't doing much, because I am i don't need to fart, uh, fight the uh, Markamani. Almost said I don't need to fart them. That would be kind of funny. Just not sure exactly what all I want to do at the moment. Having this RDI agent standing right next to Pella is probably not helping my public order. Yeah. Ugh. Now, this is why I hate client states. Useful, but also useful idiots. Um, let's see, Petra, I think the Seleucids have got to be near to extinction, all they have left is Pergamum, and I'd like to go take Ankara from, let's go take Ankara from the uh, Armenians, they have a big army here, this ought to be an interesting battle, they got some uh, gold armor troops here too, Axemen, Eastern Spearmen, Let's see what they have backing them up. More Axemen and Hillmen. So pretty lame infantry, but it has decent upgrades. They have a, a Cataphract General there and there, so two Eastern Cataphracts against me. They've also got a lot of missile units. This ought to be fun. Let's uh, get in here and fight this battle. Now this is the army where I have the Mercenary Veteran Hoplites. That'll be fun. Try and get them leveled up. They're already pretty strong units. I'd love to uh, get them leveled up. I wish there was some... I need to build an armor somewhere out here in uh, Asia Minor. And that way I can upgrade the weapons and armor of all my armies that are out in this area that maybe didn't have it done in the past. I could even tear it down later on if I needed to. So in Kyra... Sieging the city. Let's start deployment. Got my um, siege tools. So we should be able to bust through here without too much issue. I'm trying to think. So there's capture points readily available if I break through. And I'm going to break through right back here where there's the least tower resistance. 
my swords. Let's pull these guys out of formation attack. Oh, this is the army that crushed all those Persians. I remember that now. My Hapotes have the uh, ladders, but I don't think I'm going to need them, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop the ladders. You can drop them too, friends. Okay. Got my Carthaginian Cav. Elephants. And... Skirmishers over here, in case I need them. Forever loyal. All right. Off fire at will. Got all my guys. Okay, let's start the battle. Just gonna immediately put some holes in the wall. I might just fast forward this part if you all don't care. Because it's just me putting holes in the wall. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Enemy reinforcements are on the map. Oh! There were a whole bunch of Eastern Javelin men up there, so that's pretty funny. The walls are breached! Let's make a breach here next. Getting lots of good hits here with the ballista. They're fairly accurate. Oh yeah, it's only going to take a few volleys to put these walls down. The walls are breached! Okay, I'm going to drop the walls over here as well. I just want to make several holes where I can get through. That way, if the Armenians do manage to set up a relatively clever uh, means of opposing me at the walls, that it won't end up being super effective for them. Busting through that wall too. I've still got plenty of ammo. These uh, ballistas seem to have plenty. This part is pretty easy, of course. There's really no way the uh, the Armenians can oppose me on it. The walls are breached. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this tower. I don't want it damaging my men on the way in. I'm already gonna be under quite a bit of missile fire from the troops that are left on the walls. Should be able to trash this tower, and I might have enough ammo to break me one more hole in the wall. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Okay, I'm gonna go into play now. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up my skirmishers. Awaiting orders. 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 A lot of lag going on there. So it lags every now and then when you get a lot of dust and uh, particle effects. Not sure why it does that, but it does. It obviously needs a little bit of optimizing, probably. The walls are breached! Yeah, see, it's when that happens, it seems to give me the most trouble. I don't really need to do much else with these ballistas. I'm gonna put them into a... Put them into explosive shot. And, ooh, actually, right here will be a nice target. Some slingers. I'm use my peltis to bring down... Some of these skirmishers who were left on the walls. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move my men into the city. I don't really know what waits for me on the other side of this wall, so I'm going to move up and kind of take it slow over here. AI likes to use flaming javelins almost all the time. Which is something I wish that they would patch up too, because they had, the AI would be a lot more dangerous if it knew when to use flaming missiles and when not to. Check out those explosive shots over here, just hitting these slingers who are on the wall. They're, looks like some of them are trying to come down. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Looks like my ballista are out of ammo. They definitely did their job here. 
my javelins did their job clearing the, the tops of the walls as well. I'm gonna have them go ahead and save the remaining ammo. Okay, my men are into the city. And over here, this unit's gonna get mobbed. Just can't seem to get a proper attack order. Let's give these guys some assistance. I'm just gonna bring some of my hoplites into this fight. My swords will do very well, I know. No units here that are of any concern to my swords. The, the axemen are gonna be decent units because I'm gonna assume that they have. Um, I'm gonna assume that they have decent armor piercing qualities, but. There's a lot of uh, frame ray lag going on here, and I think it's from the smoke and other effects. It's annoying. This doesn't normally happen when I'm fighting this kind of fight, so I apologize for that. I mean, it's doing it to the point where it's giving me a hard time clicking out orders to you. So the close-up views probably wouldn't help right now either. Right, so pretty much... Um, Pretty much ended up just mauling the, the Armenian day. troops here. Got a few troops behind us throwing some javelins, some eastern spearmen here. And I see some troops coming from over here by those walls. I'm gonna move these guys. Start lining up here too. Got these hoplites into those uh, mercenary eastern javelin men. Just trying to reposition my guys to go capture this um, this town center. As soon as these hoplites um, clean up that javelin men, I'm gonna see if I can. No, they can't run down through there. And they can't get through that market either. Might uh, have those guys come and capture that tower. guys come in from behind. Let's bring these two hoplites over here. I'm gonna try and go run down some of these skirmishers over here. Well, actually, you know what? That's good work for my cab to do. Let's bring in my gen. Alright. Got things going here. So, just kind of in the process of. Clicking of attack orders is getting kind of annoying here. Because they're not really working quite as well as I'd like. Okay, I got some cataphracts coming towards me. I need to get these guys in the spear wall and stop, just in case they get charged. There's uh, a lot more troops over there, so I may not be able to get those skirmishers quite as easily as I hoped. Need to finish routing these uh, these mob and spearmen. I don't see why it's taking us so long to break through them. That unit's getting shot in the back, but we'll uh, we'll go ahead and go over and take care of these guys in a minute. It looks like that's the remainder of the. And we got these uh, hoplites. Yeah, these hoplites are coming in from behind, so I have them on. Uh, waypoint movement, so they'll keep on moving in that direction. And we've captured this tower here, so... Give them a waypoint to come on in there, too. I'm gonna get my Hoplites to go ahead and attack these Cataphracts. The cataphracts aren't gonna get a charge, so... That's gonna be it for them. We'll take these swords out of the shield wall. Let's take our general this way. This Carthaginian cab right there. Got one ready to go right here as well. Let's bring those in. 
Okay, I'm gonna charge my Libyan infantry into these axemen. Those axemen are cool looking units. I don't know what their stats are. I've got my elephants ready to come on over into all these units over here, though I am gonna have to be careful because these towers can fire flaming arrows at my general. I'm gonna wait until my um I'm gonna wait until my infantry starts to make a little more breaking here. Those axemen are holding their own and killing a, a number of my men. I'm gonna bring up this cav, bring up some more swords if needed. Those cataphracts were a tough unit. These Libyan infantry here are getting hurt pretty bad by the, the axemen in the vicinity. I'll uh, go ahead and reinforce them with some. And let's get my elephants through here. I'm gonna go ahead and trample charge through these spearmen that the uh, AI has here. Oh, my general's gonna be under fire from the tower now, that's bad. Those arrow towers are pretty accurate and pretty effective. This is actually kind of a dangerous situation. Let's see if I can just charge my general through to the back of this melee fight over here. There are some cataphracts trying to slow down my general. I don't think they'll cause a lot of damage if I can hurry. Yeah, I just want to get into the back of these hillmen here and cause a chain route. Which I have done. The battle is turning in our favor. Okay. We're good now. Let's see if I can get some more of these troops over here. Yeah. Uh... Oh, is the city flooded? That's kind of funny looking. No, it's just a river in the middle of the city. It kind of looked like water right there for a minute. That kind of threw me off. Okay, a lot of the uh, Armenian troops are routing out through the front gate at this point. I'm just going to keep pushing forward there. My general is safe and secure. The infantry over here is just dispatching more eastern spearmen, which I know from experience are no good. I got some eastern spearmen charging towards my uh, Carthaginian tag. I'll just replace them with this Hoplite unit and try and bring them around from another direction. Okay. These cataphracts are going to be hard to bring down. We are waiting on them. get this Carthaginian cab into the back of them. That'll help. My uh, Libyan infantry are holding their own a lot better than I expected they would, actually. This might be kind of fun. Get a Our enemy have lost a victory point. A view. <laughs> Look at this guy dragging on the ground. The, uh, the running animation is a little messed up. There's a uh, back charge of the Hoplites into these Eastern Spearmen. Not sure why, but there's a lot of weird glitches going on Cavalry! in this particular map. And then I think the music just glitched out, too. sudden got a lot quieter. I don't know if it really did or not, so it makes me hesitant to, to mess with the master sound because I have it set to where it, the volumes are right for recording. Yeah, I don't want to mess with it too much. But yeah, for me, all of a sudden it got to where the sound was sounding real, real quiet. Melee cavalry! Libyan infantry! Do you believe these are going to be the last few... Well, no, there's even more uh, Armenian units coming across the river. I do have two capture points, though. I got more Hoplites coming this way. I've taken this tower away from the Armenians. It should cease firing at me here in a moment. And we 
manage to finish off the... <laughs> Look at those fleeing horses getting uh, boiled. Oh, I saw one last cataphragment. Yep, he made it away. <laughs> Look at him, the lone survivor. Gets out the gate, but I'm thinking it's likely that he's going to get shot down with... Um, potentially get shot down with flaming arrows, at least. Wow, uh, this battle actually isn't over yet. It's still... Um, Still showing a number of troops left for the Armenians. So I guess I'm just gonna have to keep on pushing through here, capturing towers and capture points. There's only 69 seconds left as well. Where that lone horseman ended up. Huh. Wonder if he made it or not. Kind of curious. The city was uh, kind of a beast to conquer. There was a lot of Armenians here, and a few of my units got a little bit beat up. But if there was a lot of Armenians here, that means beating them is going to be all the more painful for them to suffer. So that should be acceptable. Just got my troops moving through here. Um, oh, I do see a few more. Oh look, there's some Armenian troops coming to try and capture back the area that I already took over here. The men are wavering. Uh, which, oh, they came out after my ballista. Are you serious? Break from the enemy. That sucks. I'll bet you they just ruined my ballistas. I had no idea those Eastern Spearmen would come outside the walls and never seen them do anything like that. I'll just uh, shower my javelins. Hopefully that ballista isn't lost for good. Hopefully a few of the men escape so that I can retrain it. And I think that we need to watch a ridiculous elephant charge. On these eastern spearmen who think that they're um, brave enough to stand against my war elephants. That their wicker shields will somehow stop them from the thousands of pounds of crushing force. Clearly they were wrong as my elephants are having no problem uh, mopping them up at this point. We have captured a tower! And it appears that they are routing. Yep. So, that capture point will come back under my control. And it looks like we're in the process of capturing the last one. We got rid of all these towers over here that were shooting at me, the gatehouses. So, now we should be in for a uh, final victory. Of course, there could have been a few more Armenians over in that vicinity. I don't know. There's obviously some of their troops still on the map. Oh, and I can't capture that victory point with just my general. I forgot. I don't think you can dismount from elephants. All right. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. This episode's gone a little longer than I thought, but uh, oh well, we got a lot done. We have captured uh, a tower. Went through a few turn-ins. We are about to invade the Arverni. Uh, captured a major city from the uh, Armenians, which is great. Sorry, I didn't give you more close-ups, but I was having enough lag issues on this battle anyway. I'll try and get you some more on the next ones. Wow, look at how many kills some of these Libyan infantry. 732. Good grief, man. Talk about effective. These um, mercenary hoplites carry in their weight too. My general. And we did lose that ballista. That is wildly frustrating to let a unit of Eastern Spearmen get rid of my three silver chevron ballista that I'm going to have to find a way to retrain now. That was a foolish mistake on my part. Wow. Lose a ballista in that one. All right. Well, my mistake. I'll have to make it better next time. But uh, that will be next time. Till then, may the bloody Armenian decorate my gates. Air of Carthage signing off for now.